بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویورز ویورز آج کا ٹاپک بہت ہی انٹرسٹنگ ہے اٹس اباؤٹ ہومو سیکچویلٹی ہومو سیکچویلٹی یعنی کہ ہم جنس پرستی آپ اس سے اویئر بھی ہوں گے کافی دنیا میں کافی اب آہستہ آہستہ پروموٹ ہوتی جا رہی ہے کافی کنٹریز میں اس کو جو ہے کافی اسپریڈ ہو رہا ہے یہ چیز لیکن میجورٹی آف دا پیپل ڈونٹ لائک دس اور اسلام میں بھی اس کی اجازت نہیں ہے اور کہ اجازت اس کی اجازت اس لیے بھی نہیں ہے کہ اس سے برائیاں پھیلتی ہیں آپ نے دیکھا ہوگا یا واقعہ پڑھا ہوگا حضرت لوت علیہ السلام کے زمانے میں ہم جنس پرستی عام ہو گئی تھی اللہ تعالیٰ کی طرف سے ان کو پیغام آتا تھا کہ یہ لوگ بس بند کر دیں گے سب لیکن انہوں نے نہیں کیا پھر آپ نے پڑھا ہوگا کہ ان پہ کتنا برا عذاب آیا تھا اور کہ اجازت کیوں نہیں ہے اس میں اس ویڈیو میں آپ کو ڈاکٹر ذاکر نائک سے کافی ڈیٹیل میں پتہ چلنے والا ہے ہوپ کہ آپ کو یہ ویڈیو پسند آئے گی اور آپ کو کافی نالج ملے گی تو تو یہ ویڈیو ان کے لیے بھی جو ایسے گناہ میں پڑھتے ہیں تو پلیز اس ویڈیو کو ضرور دیکھیے گا اور لیٹس گین سم نالج ربی زدنی علما اللہ تعالیٰ ہم سب کی نالج میں اضافہ کرے اور ہمیں صحیح راستے پہ چلنے کی توفیق عطا فرمائے آمین مین ڈاؤٹ آن ہومو سیکچویلٹی لائک از اٹ پروہبیٹڈ ان اسلام اینڈ وائی سو بیکاز لائک آئی ہیڈ لائک فرام دا پاسٹ فائیو ایئرس آئی بین ود سو مینی ہومو سیکچویلس It's like, uh, I mean, their feelings that they have for, their, for the same sex or whatever it is, it's so true. I mean, it's like the same kind of pain what we might feel for, for maybe our husbands or whoever it is. If it's wrong, why is it wrong? Sisters asked the question that what does Islam say about homosexuality and if it's wrong, why it is wrong? Allah says in the Quran in Surah Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 32, that come not close to adultery, for adultery then evil opening other roads to evil. Besides that, Allah says in Surah Araf, chapter number 7, that telling to men that do you practice your lust after men in preference to women? That means homosexuality is prohibited in Islam, in the Quran, because Almighty God made the human beings. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Rum, chapter number 30, verse number 21, that He has put love between the hearts of husband and wife. Almighty God has made the human beings in such a way that they love the opposite sex. Generally, naturally, no human being loves the same sex. I'm talking about the love which is required in husband and wife, not the plutonic love which you have between your brothers and between your sisters. Now, initially, there was a research which said that homosexuality is genetic. So during question and answer time, somebody asked me, the way you're asking, if homosexuality is genetic, then how is that human being to blame? It came from his parents, so why is he to blame? Like you're saying, if someone loves someone else, so why should he be blamed? I said this is a research. This is a hypothesis. It's not a fact. And later on we came to know that this hypothesis was wrong and the person who propounded this hypothesis, he himself was a homosexual. So homosexuality is not genetic. It comes today, science tells us, how do homosexuals evolve? Because what Almighty God has given permission for a human being, what's permitted? You get married, do nikah, you can have sex with your wife. And Islam says that while doing, having sex with your wife is also worshipping Allah. Because you're preventing the haram, you're not going outside the marital bond to satisfy your urges. That's Islam. Today, science tells us, today, research tells us, that those people who have multiple life partners outside the marriage bond, as compared to those who only have with the spouses, they enjoy the sexual life much better than the others. And what happens today, when you get tired with it, you go to the Western countries, you have mistresses. Five, 10, 20, no problem. You start then doing unnatural things. When you start doing unnatural things, you don't follow the law of the Creator, and you try and satisfy your urges in the wrong way. The moment you keep on doing the wrong way, then you keep on going beyond what is natural, and that's how the person becomes homosexual. It is not genetic. Because you go beyond the limits what Almighty God has permitted you, you try other things, you try unnatural things, and finally you land up by saying you, you no longer enjoy having sex with the opposite sex, so you have sex with the same sex.
So sister, because they've broken the law of Almighty God and they do unnatural things, that's how psychologically they become a homosexual. So but naturally if you break the law of Almighty God, that's totally wrong. And that's how it lands up a person being homosexual. So they are to blame and Islam prohibits homosexuality. Even Christianity prohibits homosexuality. Most of the religions are against homosexuals. It's now the Western countries are saying because in democracy, whatever majority says, you win. Majority wins. In Islam, majority doesn't win, the haq wins. The truth wins. I remember when I'd gone to Canada in 1996, the first time I went to give a lecture, in the front page I saw a man kissing a man. A man kissing a man, and it says that they have married each other. Today in Western countries, if I speak against homosexuality, it's a crime. It's a crime. So what we realize that previously, previously, all the countries homosexuality was a crime. Then some Western countries like Canada gave legal sanction to it. Today, most of the Western countries, homosexuality is legal. Even India, the country where I come from, they are thinking. They are thinking to make it legal. So what we realize, what is truth is truth. Majority doesn't win. What is wrong is wrong. And in Islam, and most of the major religions of the world, homosexuality is a sin, it's a crime, it will not take you to heaven, it will take you to hell. Hope that answers the question, sister.